speed limit changes. Central government have set out new draft rules which propose changes to blanket speed changes in the far north and actually across Aotearoa. Now the far north district council has not in any way, shape or form taking a blanket approach to our speed changes that we've already implemented, but they've assessed each road locally, listened to the community, and then done changes based off that. Now when those rules are finalised, we'll take that in hand, see what that means for us here in the far north, and we'll be getting back to you. Hundreds of tamariki turned out to our council meeting to determine whether we'd keep our Māori ward. Guess what? We listened and we have. We've retained our Ngātai Tokereo Māori Ward for next year's 2025 local elections, but its future will be in your hands, with central government calling on a binding poll of all far northerners to see whether we'll keep it after that. Keep an eye out for more information to come. How exciting is our Te Kohe Kohe housing complex in partnership with Far North Holdings and Te Hauru Ngāpui. We've seen these beautiful homes built for our community. Another exciting event that's coming up is Te Taumata o Te Heko o Teka, the State of the Far North Address, which theme this year is the Road to Recovery. It's going to be a first of its kind where I address you all as the people of the Far North about where we've come from, where we are right now and where we will be going as a district. The State of the Far North, Tuesday the 12th of November at the Turner Centre in Kirikiri. If you're a business champion or leader, if you are involved in the marae, hapu, iwi space, then come along. Tickets are free, get in touch so we can get you registered.